why do you disrespect and overlook your own musicians? Why do you disrespect and overlook your own musicians, your own minister of music, directors, so on and so on? God bless everybody. I hope y'all are still doing well and we giving God the honor, the glory, and all the praise. Now, I'm talking from the heart out of love in this video. And I want to talk to the musicians uh, that I know on here. All of y'all around the world, I get so many comments, inboxes, you know what y'all dealing with. And it hurts my heart what I'm, what I'm about to say in this video. Because when I talk out of love, it hurts. Because my heart goes out to so many people and what they're going through. And it hurts me a lot because this is the house of God, supposed to be the house of God that I'm talking about. And I talked in the last video about these workshops and how oftentimes people look over their own musicians, look at them like they're just a piece of dirt, skip over them and don't even want to recognize them, and they quick to bring somebody else in. Now, we know we all are on different levels. You know, some just starting out. But at the same time, the Bible said do things in decent and in order. And all I would get, get an understanding. We're not getting an understanding. And nine times out of ten, a lot of people are not doing things decent and in order. And when you hurting your own minister of music, your own musician, do you really understand what you're doing to your brother? or your sister in Christ. See, let's just be real. The, the most faithful ones are always the ones that's overlooked. The ones who are faithful are really never appreciated. Now, if you got a church that really appreciates you, God bless you. To God be the glory. I don't know why people overlook the ones that's laboring with them. The ones that's faithful are always overlooked. And y'all, JT, know what he's talking about because I'm talking from experience. What I have went through myself and things that I'm going to go through even more in the future. But now I'm glad that I went through so much because now I know what to deal with, know how to deal with it. And it taught me a valuable lesson in life about how so-called Christians really are and then I also learned that most people that say they love you and care about you, they really don't. And I'm talking about so-called Christians. Now, I'm not trying to make anybody mad, but I feel y'all and what y'all going through because I was once there. That's why I can speak about these type of things. And to overlook and disrespect your own musician, your own minister of music, that's, that's not of God. That's not of God. Faithful musicians. Now, let's say this off top. Also, we got unfaithful musicians who do the church dirty, treat church like a gig, always want to raise but don't hardly want to show up to nothing and can only play in a few keys. I'm not talking about them in this video. I'm talking about you that's dedicated, who's always there, who's faithful and going home and learning the music, and you working the job still. And you're getting treated like dirt. And the people that do you like this will have to answer to it. And it's not going to be pretty. I hear this all the time and see this all the time when I'm in other people's churches. Oh, man, get up, get up, get up, get up. Let my buddy play. My buddy cold, man. Check him out. Or oh, let my girl sing. My girl... You all right, man, but you go on, sit down, man. Let me let, let me let, let me let you hear somebody that's cold. And they can even play and sing. But check it out. Nine times out of ten, they only showing out. And here go the cold blooded part. They ain't even anointed. We so quick to pull in somebody that can sing, that can play, or they can teach parts. And they not even anointed. They're not even living what they're singing. They're not even living the word of God. How can you disrespect and overlook your own who's there faithfully? 
who's pushing as hard as they know how, trying to get to the next level, and all you're doing is kicking them down. Let me tell you something, y'all. I have so much respect for other musicians, other minister of music, directors, choirs, praise teams, preachers, church, period. I have nothing but respect. But when I see one of my brothers or sisters being disrespected, I have to stand and say something because it's not right. And I, I'm tired of seeing so many hurt musicians behind these old cocky musicians. Musicians that, that think they know it all. You, you really don't even want to play with them. Like I say, not even anointed. And I would never, this is me, people that know me will tell you this, JT would never, ever, walk up in either one of y'all churches and disrespect the one that's playing. I don't care if they can't even play. I'm going to still respect my brother or sister. It's sad enough that some musicians don't even want to show you nothing. Then they really don't want you to play. Well, how else will you get used to learning how to conduct service if you never try? That's what I was talking about in these workshops. How they overlook the minister of music. Who's there? The musicians who's there. Now this is my problem. Hmm. This is why some of these people are going to cut the camera off. Here's my problem with these churches that do this. How you going to bring in somebody else who going to be gone after the workshop Pay them thousands of dollars or whatever it is they ask for, but you won't even take care of the musician, the minister of music, who's there faithfully every Sunday, who's coming during the week. Some people drive across town. Some of y'all don't stay nowhere close to y'all church like me. I don't stay nowhere close to my church. And I've been there faithfully seven years now. I'm not saying that for a hand clap because in this video, we are talking about faithful music, musicians, excuse me. I can talk about being faithful because I live it. There is not going to be no church that you can go to that I have played at and they're going to say JT left the wrong way or JT missed all kind of sunnies, JT ran women in the choir. No, I'm faithful. And that's who I'm talking to in this video, faithful musicians that are being done wrong. Why do you disrespect and overlook your own? Hmm. How? Can you do that? But like I say, how can you pay somebody who ain't even going to come no more? All that money, but you sit there and overlook your own musician. You telling him or her that, do it for free. God going to bless you. I used to get kicked to the curb all the time, my brothers and sisters, when I started out. Never got to play on the big things. I used to be pissed off. And it was always room for me to fit in and get on the keyboard, but they wouldn't let me. JT, you ain't good enough. We're going to bring in such and such to play. We're going to bring in such and such to teach the parts. You don't even worry about playing. And they got the audacity to sit there and pass that money out in front of your face. They'll tell you, we got it, brother. You ain't that good yet. Now people, you know what they do now? People begging me to come and do workshops. And you know what I tell them? I'm still not good enough for y'all. I'm not that good for y'all. But I am good enough for God. We have to learn to be patient with each other. We have to teach each other. Let me use my little brother for an example. Y'all love JT, the ones that know little JT. I love my little brother. When he was real young, I saw his musical ability. So let me talk about him for an example in this video. When he started out, he wanted to start playing in church also. So I took my little brother under my wings and allowed him to play along with me. No matter how bad he jacked up, I didn't care because I went through the same thing. No matter how hard he messed up, 
He learned from every time he messed up. He started training his ear. He started learning his number system. He started really watching me. Oh, I wish we had more minister of music that would show somebody else. See, I don't just show piano players. I show bass players. I show drummers. I work with lead guitar players, singers, horn players. So I'm not bragging on myself, but I'm just saying I'm experienced. What I, I have been doing it for a long time, and I know what I'm doing. Not to say I'm big at it. I'm just, just letting you know that I know my crowd. And I try my best to show others all I can. Y'all y'all already know that. Y'all that have watched me on her, all the tutorials that's up. Y'all know JT pull his heart out and didn't charge y'all a dime. Some of y'all still frustrated. But when I looked at my little brother, God him under my wings. How shy he was at first because he was scared to mess up. And we talking about messing up even on Sunday mornings because I don't know nobody that got it right the first time they played or sang or even preached. That's how Lil JT learned. None of us started out perfect. I remember ooh, a lot of times how I messed up trying to sing and play. But I looked at Lil JT remaining humble. He would always listen to what I say. Now, him being my brother, now, fast forward to this daytime, him being my bass player, he's still my brother. That'll never change. Him being a bass player, I love it. Now he shows me stuff. He listened and he be like, Ro, let me show you this. Now I look at him when he on a lead guitar. And look at him now when he fill in as a drummer at times. But if I wouldn't have never let him come on with me and pushed him out there on Sunday mornings and work with him probably every day of the week, we spent a lot of time, and we still do, with each other. How would he ever learn? We have spent endless hours with each other in this music. I told him, Scott, go past me. Sky's the limit. Be better than me. Problem nowadays is we too scared to show somebody because we don't want nobody to be better than us. And we don't want them to learn. So my, my point is, how can these younger musicians, the beginners who start now, ever learn if they don't ever get a chance to be a part of the service? There's going to come a time when they got to get on the organ or the keyboard and play, or the piano and play. I'm not just talking about keyboardists and organists, I'm talking about bass players, whatever it is that you play, how will you ever learn if you never get experience in being out there? Just like going on a job for a first time. A lot of times, we didn't know what we was doing. We tried out something new. It's a learning process. How can I overlook the ones who labor among me? Ain't no way we supposed to go behind each other's backs and not even telling the minister of music or musician who's there in charge about what's going on. That's out of order. I see so many of y'all frustrated all the time because they are being kicked to the curb. Let me, Mitty Man, ain't no way I would go to Mitty Man's church and tell him, I'm going to play. And Mitty Man, you can sit down this Sunday. Well, I'm going to use your choir. And you just sit down. Look at how look at how out of order that is. Me the man, you don't even need to play with me. I got this. I done got cocky and big headed. I done went to this man in church and told him what he gonna do. No, nah, that's out of order. And me the man wouldn't dare. Me the man wouldn't allow that to happen. I would tell me the man. You know what I would tell me the man? Ask me the man. Let me say that right. Me the man, I know this. You don't have a drama. Do you need me to play the drums for you while you play the keyboard? Can I be your tempo, man? Can I help you out? See, I don't have to be on the piano all the time. That's what I would tell me, the man. What do you want me to do, me, the man? What, what do you need me to do? And even if me, the man say, JT, I got it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Just, just sit down and enjoy service. I'm going to be cool with that. I don't have to be up in there playing. 
because I love to be ministered to. I do so much playing and singing that I never get a break. I would love to just sit down and enjoy service. But my point is, I wouldn't disrespect many man's church, and he wouldn't disrespect mine. Ain't no way I'm going to go down there to, 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 to Pastor Leonard and tell P.P. Drawings, man, get up. I'm playing this Sunday. P.P. Drawings going to look at me like I'm crazy. First of all, you ain't been here, J.T., Second of all, I'm the minister of music here, JT. Third of all, JT, you out of order. Now, if I need you to come up here and I ask you to do a solo, JT, I'll call you up. But see, this is what people are not doing in these churches. We just overlooking the one who is already there. What's wrong with these pictures? Hmm. So how can you disrespect the one who's been there? faithfully. And to the ones that's doing this, I pray for you. And you're going to have to answer to it. But to the ones that it's being done too, let me tell you a little bit more encouraging words. Hang in there. A humble musician is going to go way further than a cocky musician. A cocky musician, a big-headed musician, Ain't about nothing. And I say that boldly. I don't care what college you went to. I say the same thing about a preacher. I don't care how many degrees you got. I don't care who you have played for. If you got a terrible attitude and you out of order, you bad, you not anointed, you ain't nothing at all. I don't care what kind of voice you got. How many cards you can hit, you sorry, you terrible, and you really ain't no musician to me. You sure not a minister of music. You just a fool with a title. So with that being said, I don't care who get mad. Truth hurt. I love y'all anyway. Let's learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope and pray for tomorrow. God bless you.